Okay, it's the next day, and I was getting ready to dial in the action. Had a 1.5 mil feeler gauge here, and it's still high. So, loosening it up, pop the neck off, put in a bit more shim, put it all back together, bring it back up to tension, see where I'm at. Okay, popped off the neck, and I uh, put a another 0.3 mil brass shim in there and wait for the glue to dry and then put it back together see what I got it's looking like what I need to do is shim the neck up until I have just about zero action or a, just a little bit of action on numbers one and six strings and then uh, and then that's where I want to be. And then for the number two and three and four and five, I'm going to need to raise the saddles. So. Okay. It's got so much shim in it now that this front neck screw is looking a little bit short, actually. Looks like some of the shim fell off. I'll have to put it back in. And uh, this back neck screw is actually starting to try to poke through the fingerboard so I think what I might do is get the bolt choppers there and trim a little bit off of the back screw and then for the front screw I'm going to I'm going to take a longer screw and I'm going to cut it down so it's like maybe a couple mil longer than one of these guys in order to make up for that shim gap because the screw isn't reaching down as deep into the neck now and it probably needs a bit more wood here in the hole in order to help the fact that there's not as much screw grabbing so I think I'll go for a slightly longer screw Try to get a bit more grab in the neck and give it a little bit more wood in there to grab onto all at once. Glue in some more toothpick. Trim it off. Trim down the back screw for the neck. And there we go. The new neck screws. One slightly shorter than the original, and one slightly longer than the originals. Okay, got the next shim glued back in. Looks like the uh, hole for the leg bar position was uh, getting kind of sloppy, so I'm going to shim it a bit. Shim and trim. Well, that took a little bit, actually, to get that thing nice and tight again. Um, had to fill the hole with three pieces of toothpick. It was that wallowed out. And then, uh, then I actually re-drilled it from scratch. And then I used... Uh, where'd it go here, this guy, the extra neck screw, in order to actually tap the threads in the hole there before I put the thumb screw in. And that took care of it, the thumb screws going down and torquing down tight and not like bottoming out the way it was, so that's all good. Now let me go ahead and finish putting this neck back together. And now it's too much shim. Uh, the saddles are like, put the saddles all the way up, and there's still like zero action. So, gotta take some shim out. So, I pulled that last shim back out, and then the two little guys that are over on the base side, I actually turned them around this way. Should be a bit more stable. But since it's now inboard more, it's actually going to probably act as more shim and it might be too much. I might have to take, 
This is actually two pieces of brass here. Might need to take one out. So, as usual, wait and see. Back and forth, back and forth. I still haven't figured out. As you can see, I still haven't figured out a good way to to get the neck angle perfect, other than trial and error, basically. So. Still too much on the base side. Yeah. Action's actually slightly negative. Okay. Removed uh, one brass shim from the base side here. Turns out there's actually three, not just two. I thought there were only two. There were actually three, so removed one and try that. <laughs> 